Uh, I was hungry today. I was hurting and didn't want to go get any food or make any food. So I saw on Uber Eats the Mr. Beast Burger. Now, I'm not a big internet guy. I don't really know much about Mr. Beast other than what I've seen on Joe Rogan or heard from other kids half my age. But uh, I checked out this combo. Got the Beast Style combo. It's a smash burger. Two crispy patties. Bunch of junk on it there you can see. That sounds good. I'm going to order that thing up. Signature fries. All right. Look, it's crinkle fries. Everybody loves a crinkle fry. And look at that big full box, man. Uh, you know, it's expensive, but I'll buy it. Go with the lightly seasoned with salt ones instead of these super special fries that they got because uh, I don't want anything crazy. Let's just try the fry. And of course, my kryptonite is cookies. Looks like they got chocolate chip cookies. $2.99. Well, I hope they're good. That's fine because I'll tell you what, nothing gets me excited like a delicious cookie. So we're going to get those cookies as well. Ring her up, throw her in a basket, and looks like we're going to have her in under an hour. Patriot Drive. Awesome. Must be good. It's getting cooked by Patriots, right? Leave over a 20% tip, of course, and we're at $30 for a burger combo delivery. That's pretty heavy, but, you know, it's Uber Eats, so that's what you get. Call it a convenience. Looks like old Sean's got my order now that it's ready and it's going to be on the way. Fast forward and Sean's on my block two minutes away. In fact, Sean's in my driveway, ready to drop that meal off. And look, picture confirmation he dropped it off right next to the pile of shoes that my wife and kids leave. Right on. Well, there it is, just like Sean said. Better bring her inside and see what I got. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hungry, my body hurts. I need to take me some Tylenol with some food. Can't wait. So here it is. Got my box of cookies, my box of fries, and my box of the burger, and of course, a delicious Diet Coke. So let's pop into this thing. I've had a lot of people tell me they were disappointed in it, but I have high hopes. Oh, wait a sec. That is not even a half-filled box of fries, and they're not even crinkle-cut fries. Maybe I'm imagining, is this a Mandela effect thing? Oh no, that was a really full box of crinkle fries. Okay, my bad. Well, what are you going to do? I mean, they were cold, and uh, I can't really ding them on that, I guess, because it's an Uber Eats thing, and, you know, it didn't come to me fresh off the plate, so I won't ding them on it being cold. I guess the fries were kind of okay. They didn't seem like they were even salted, but... Whatever, there's a nice close-up of my mouth, and you can hear me chewing, just for all you weird ASMR people out there. Uh, enjoy that. Uh, well, I guess I'll move on from the fries. I mean, here, take a little look at them. You know, they're kind of that kind of limp, kind of cooked uh, consistency that I guess you'd really like. It's like a real potato -y fry, but who knows? This may not even be consistent across different restaurants. I doubt there's a Mr. Beast burger brick and mortar shop this is probably cooked out of the back of a ruby tuesdays from what i can tell either way not consistent with what's being sold uh here's the burger this is what i'm most excited about gotta love me a burger uh looks like a smash burger i mean it looks properly smashed the bun looks to be uh a little over toasted on the outside but whatever you know looks okay again uh not super warm but not cold again i'll, I'll uh i'll not you know Fight that. I mean, it was an Uber Eats thing, and uh, who doesn't like to pay twice as much for a burger that's cold? Uh, but there's some extra nasal breathing if you guys like the insides of nasal passages, which some of you ASMR people again love. Either way, kind of a smash burger going on there. I mean, uh, I don't know. I would think I'd rather eat at Freddy's or definitely rather eat at Steak and Shake because who could beat Steak and Shake, right? But I mean, it's okay, I guess. Um, it was cooked. I can say that so you know it's okay I guess uh, but again $30 combo meal by the time you get it delivered with a tip so I don't know I don't know how to feel about it I was expecting a little more out of the burger but whatever I mean if you look at the picture of what's online it does appear to be a little fatter and juicier than that I get that it's a smash burger but whatever you know here's what you're looking at enjoy yourself I guess all that's left is really the best part of the meal, which is going to be the cookie. Looks like it came with two cookies, so that's something. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like it's a little overcooked, but not so bad. Um, you open that thing up and it is all chocolate chip. Pretty chocolatey. Uh, so whatever, that's fine. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, here you go. Nice zoom in on the nostril in case you guys are into that. Uh, I figured you already seen my lips twice, and that was already too many times, so... 
Uh, there's that cookie. It was okay. I'm not going to hate on it, but nothing here was warm. So, I mean, you know, I still tipped the Uber Eats guy and gave him a good review, but whatever. Anyway, all in all, not an exciting experience. Not a burger to write home about. Uh, not that great. I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly the way the meal would want to be made by uh, old Mr. Beast, whoever he is, to the food industry, which I doubt is much. Uh, but there's no way this is what they intended. You know, this is kind of what you get sometimes when these mainstream restaurants do backdoor businesses and uh, try to run another brand out the back door through Uber Eats and delivery or just pick up only. So I don't know what I'm looking at on the picture there isn't what I got. Not super happy with it. And this isn't the first time I've had this. I'd ordered it twice just to see what consistency was, and it was about the same both times. So, you know, I figured it was worth reviewing for any of you out there, especially folks my age who don't watch Mr. Beast, but maybe get on YouTube for old people stuff like I do. And, uh, you know, you may see that on your Uber Eats, and I would encourage you to, maybe if it's very close to your place, give it a shot. Maybe pick it up yourself so it's hot when you get it. But other than that, I mean, maybe go with something you know is going to be good, because this isn't worth the $30 risk, especially since I am now into it for 60 So that's my review. Out of 10 stars, I would absolutely give this experience. Not considering that it was cold, I'm not going to add that to the review. I would give it a solid five, total five. So there you go, Mr. Beast Burger. Was hoping for more. <laughs>